I'm on my way right now to pick up some crab. Um, basically, I kind of wanted to bring you guys along in this process because y'all don't really see me go get it and stuff like that. So basically, I go, well, let's start from the beginning. How do you find blue shell crab or live crab in your area? Because everywhere I go, I always make sure that I research and I find it. So what I do is I look in Asian markets um, sometimes. Like, I mean, well, I guess they're still Asian, like Filipino markets, like places where they sell like Asian stuff. They normally have shipments of um, bujo crab because they normally cook with it. So I search for them. There's also, you know, seafood markets that you can search for in your area to see who has it. But normally a lot of people go to their, like that specific place to get their crab. So what I do is I go to the Asian market because only the Asian people really know about the Asian market. So there don't be like, you know, mass amounts of people standing in line. Like I'm telling you guys, when I go get seafood, like live blue shell crab, when I go get crab from the store, from like a regular normal, you know, everybody knows where this is and when it's in and all that stuff. Like it's every day, um, same time like stuff like that is like a ritual for people like they go and like they know each other like i literally was going to these places and i would know people's names and everything i'm telling you i would know people's names and everything because it was like a damn near community for real for real it was like a community of people oh yeah i'm trying to drive community of people who like the same stuff oh my god right get over anyway they like the same stuff and they see each other every day they be like hey betty what's up what you get today oh they coming in and then once they come in it's like a sport like everybody trying to get the best one first and like you know what i'm saying and like lined up bagged bagged up ready like and they make it sound like sound like some drugs or something but for real, for real they be bagged up ready like lined up girl it was too much i was like no i'm not about to compete for no goddamn crap so now i go to this place where nobody knows about my area um people who do know like i said are asian and they normally come on thursdays because the shipment comes super late i'm normally one of the few who come like right when the shipment comes like i call him all day and i'm like when the shipment come when the ship comes from he even calls me and he's like the shipment is in honey okay like it's that serious and nobody knows and people be asking me like my friends and people from my um, I have a San Antonio group people from my San Antonio group they be like you know where you get your crap girl this is a secret this is a, this is a whole secret like I don't just be letting anybody know okay y'all really not gonna know like the exact location but y'all gonna know how I do it so y'all can do it in y'all area if that makes any sense so we have a specific time like I said that it comes in normally in the late evenings so right now it is 8 30 so i'm on my way because i called i called at 6 6 30 called two hours ago and the shipment didn't come in and his shipment comes from houston so the actual like truck that comes or whatever i even have that guy's number like this is so serious y'all don't even understand i even have the truck guy's number and sometimes i text him if he's running late and i'm like so what does it look like like where you at he'd be like oh i'm about 30 minutes out okay bet and i'll get there when they unloading the truck baby don't play with me they be looking like yeah they know they know it they <laughs> he be giving me discounts sometimes and everything like i'm his best customer so anyway long story short i found this place i love it i love the crab that they get because it's normally like jumbo crab and even when it's off season they crab still be like yes so yeah i enjoy it um i enjoy like the it's like a whole lot to that goes with like crab not crab hunting because that's what i want to call it but it's like it's like a whole thrill like you gotta find it once you find it you gotta get there like every week or every day or whenever it is um that they come in usually like once a week uh, you have to get there before everybody else to make sure you get the pick of the crop like it's serious so that's where I'm at right now I'm on my way to go to the Asian market by my house and I'm about to pick up some crap so y'all can come along and see and honestly I don't even know what their rating is I'm gonna look up their rating and let y'all know
is I really don't think they're even high rated because nobody really knows about them. So this is technically the lowest rated seafood market. Honestly, I'm going to tell you something. Okay, don't tell nobody. I'm going to tell you something. So the first time I went here, I was like, it stinks. Like the actual seafood, seafood, when they have fish, like they have a fish market area and the fish is to be looking like, mm, like I would not eat anything that is raw in here like because it's alive that's why i get my crab because i know that when i cook it um you boil it and so it boils the bacteria so honestly i look at it to make sure my crab's healthy and stuff like that but like outside of that i would not take anything that was dead and like you know like fish or like um lobster or anything from else from this this place at all like y'all won't be able to smell with the smell but that was just like first impressions and I've always stuck by that. Like I've never bought nothing else in this place. It's, I strictly go here for the crab. But if you guys go to other Asian markets, sometimes they do have a smell. So if y'all know what I'm talking about, comment below. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely check the rings because I never really did that. So I'm gonna let y'all know what's good. Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the back there? Yeah, I'll do a little time. Okay. They must be in the freezer. They normally right here. Oh. Let's see. I don't like stuff like that.
it's not showing up yet. Okay, so I got them. It actually smelled pretty nice in there today. Like, and I'm not even being funny. Like, it don't be smelling too great, but it smelled decent today. Um, I'm at the grocery store because I need to get some beer. And London needs some desitin for her bottom because she's been having, like, I don't even know. I guess some type of reaction. I think I'm gonna scoot back and come back in here. No. So I'm about to go in here and get some things. This is the actual place that I go. And as you guys can see, they've been uh, rated about 238 times. But the thing is, the last reviews weren't very good. As you guys can see, smell is a big one. Uh, produce, stuff like that. Like those types of reviews are a big one for them. So. Actually, two months ago, they got a five star, which is awesome. Um, this one says, first time here, probably our last walk-in store in a nice adjustment at the counter, talking on two cell phones. That's the owner. He does have time. We did not see anyone else in the store. I went to the counter for assistance, and he turns his back to me, continues his conversation. I wait a few minutes. He still doesn't acknowledge me, so I loudly say, excuse me, could you help me? Then he does. I asked him for one item, a specific Chinese drinking wine, and he points to an aisle. I had to ask him to show me. He points to the bottom shelf at what looks like an empty space. I must have had a confused look in my face because he then stops, stoops down and pulled a bottle of cooking wine from the back of the shelf. So basically they're saying he wasn't accommodating. This shows a decent selection of Asian goods right here. Excellent merchandise. Too bad the customer service is terrible. So that's what I kept seeing when I did look it up um, back in the day. And it was like a lot of one stars. So recently, I think he's been stepping it up. So it used to be like a low, low, low rated Asian market. But he's been stepping it up with his customer service because he was very, this is seven months ago, very much rude. He does come off like that. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like... I'm not to be like, I'm not racist, obviously I got Asian in me, honey. But a lot of the Asian people are like that. So this one said, I beg everyone to be careful because the food in this store and this shop has expired when I told them to treat me inappropriately. When I told them to treat, I don't know what they trying to say. But anyway, blue crab was great. Yes, it was, honey. Um, so they're talking about other products. All I come in there for is blue crab and customer service. See, was absolutely awful. Mm. 